For the first time in his celebrated 20-year career, Australian fashion designer Tony Matichewski opens up his archives for a new exhibition at the Bendigo Art Gallery. Matichewski Dark Wonderland showcases the beautiful gowns that have made him an international fashion icon. We caught up with Tony to ask him about his worldwide acclaim. Tony, you usually go about your work so quietly. How does it feel to reach such a milestone and then to have uh, such a public display of your work? Yeah, it's it's definitely different. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, I mean, I think I think the experience here is I kind of I think taps into what I do and how I do things, and so I, um, and you know the guys at Bendigo Gallery have been so amazing to to work with um, that. You know, there's been a mutual respect, I think, on both of our parts. And, like, I understand curatorial gallery things and they have kind of been, like, really open to the fact that it's not a dead man's work and, you know... <laughs> <laughs> it's very modern, it's very alive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so how do you go about picking work such as this? Do you work with the gallery to, to go through your archives and, and pick the statement pieces from your career? Yeah, well, um, Leanne definitely had free reign to kind of go and choose and make a selection and she picked I think like two or three hundred pieces wow. <laughs> and then I was like Leanne they're all evening gowns we can't do evening gowns. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a whole exhibition no. of those. <laughs> Excuse me um, and so then we kind of worked together and there was like key pieces that they definitely wanted and I sort of worked around that a little bit and kind of hit a happy medium I think. Mm. Is it, does it span across your career do you feel that everything here represents a certain part of you along your journey? Pretty close, yeah, yeah, pretty close. I mean, there's some things which we just kind of pulled, which is from the earliest, earliest stages, only because it just wasn't quite working um, in the space. But apart from that, yeah, I think it's a nice, nice cross section. It shows your collaboration, um, especially with celebrities, the likes of Princess Mary, and then also Jessica Mowboy. How do those collaborations come about? And when they ring you, do you yeah. sort of pinch yourself and think, "Wow"? It's really funny. I mean, I mean, I with Jess like I love her and I've loved her since I first heard her like audition on yes. Australian Idol and I told her that when I saw her I'm like oh my god I voted for you and she <laughs> cracked up laughing but um you know I think it becomes a thing of like you know I love dressing people who I respect who I admire and and it's just it's nice to kind of get that mutual admiration you know, out of the way and then you go, okay, what are you after? <laughs> How do you want to feel? How do you want to look? And all of that kind of then comes into play. Despite your incredible success, you're still very close to the design process. Can you talk us through how you go about doing that? Because you produce quite a significant number of pieces each year. Yeah, I mean, even like all the pieces in here I've actually made by myself. So, um, so it's, yeah, I think, I mean, for me, that's part of the job that I love, you know, I've, um, I'm not an illustrator, I'm not like, you know, a, an artist in that kind of sense. I'm like, I like making garments um, and that's why I got into fashion design. Doing it in yeah, you know, yeah. so I mean, for me that's been the key and that's been the part where I've been able to flex, I guess, my ideas a lot more, probably more so than a lot of other people who don't have the skill base. Yeah. Well, this is just uh, truly beautiful. Congratulations on 20 years and please, for the people of Bendigo and even right around Victoria and across Australia, do yourself a favour and come and see this beautiful exhibition, Matichewski Dark Wonderland. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you.